this time we're going to have uh, we're going to be have, bring this to a close and so we uh, i'm going to invite uh, i'm going to ask all the pastors that are uh, pastor bobby sharp please come up right now that way you're up here already if you would and that'll save us some time uh, pastor bobby sharp pastor aries quizmundo pastor don wallace and uh, pastor anthony cortez if you would uh, please come on up here. Pastor Bobby Sharp is pastor of uh, Cross Point uh, Baptist Church in McFarland. Again, McFarland, thank you so much. Pray for both of our communities, if you would, at this time. I just want to thank Pastor Vivas. I want to thank the city of Delano um, and for inviting us from McFarland to be a part of this. Together, we are better. And it's not only the city council, it's not only the police departments, and law enforcement agencies, but I think it's important for us to bridge a positive and healthy relationship between the houses of faith, the houses of worship, and other uh, like-minded pastors and ministries to meet that demographic as well. And so I'm just honored to be here. And I just want to say something real short. I, I mentioned this in my message today about the weariness of life. And sometimes we can get lost in the middle. But what we do in the beginning, in the middle, it supports our beginning. And what we do in the middle, it validates our end. And I want you guys to be encouraged today. Those victims, those loved ones that spoke on behalf of those that has, have died in a senseless act of crime, Man, do not give up. The community of Delano, don't give up. Pastors, don't give up. Keep on fighting the good fight because it's what we do in the middle that counts and it won't go unnoticed. So put in the work and let's just give God the glory and ask for His, His presence, His power. Father God, I thank you for today. And I thank you, Lord Jesus, for everybody that is here and joining us online as well. And God, I pray an extraordinary prayer of your grace and just the ministry of your Holy Spirit upon these people that have spoken on behalf of these victims here. I've heard some heartfelt testimonies in grief, Lord. And I have heard some passionate words from our pastors and community leaders. So Lord, I pray God that you would give us a spirit of revival in this city and in our communities and even in McFarland. And I ask God that those people that have committed these heinous crimes, Lord, that you would convict them through your Holy Spirit at their core and that you would not let them rest and that they could not go out with, without always looking over their shoulder. And Father, for the loved ones that spoke up, that this is affected negatively, Father, I pray that your Holy Spirit would be with them at their heart of hearts. And that you would give them your extraordinary grace that we sung about earlier. And so strengthen us, Lord. Father God, help us rise to the occasion. I pray over our law enforcement community and Chief Robert Navarro's Lord, his department. I pray that you would watch over his officers, Lord. God, I pray, Father, for uh, the city council and the mayor and the city government of Delano and McFarland, Father, that we would be led by your Holy Spirit, God, and that we would bring honor and praise to you. And Lord, like Pastor Viva said, that we just don't have these cute slogans and signs that say, in God we trust and, and whatever, and just so that we can check that off, but Lord, that that's what our DNA is about. That's who we are. And so, Father, I just ask that you would sweep over your community and bring healing and bring peace and, Father, bring justice, the justice that comes from above. And I pray all of this and so much more in the strong and majestic name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I'm going to ask at this time, uh, Pastor Anthony Cortez, please pray specifically for the investigations that are currently going on right now. Father, we uh, just bow our heads. Father, we come to you right now, Lord, and 
there's, there's so much said tonight, Lord God. And right now, I want to pray over those families and the victims, Lord. Justice will be served, Lord God. You, Lord Jesus, came and you understand the hurt and the pain that each one of these families are going through. How? Because a good friend of yours, Lazarus, died. But you raised him from the grave. And so, Father, I pray for peace. I pray for comfort. I pray for justice. I pray for men, and even those men, to step up and be a mentor to those that are fatherless. Father, the blessing upon your spirit, upon each and every individual, and the sound of my voice, over this city, the city of McFarland, the surrounding areas, the leadership, Father God, we only as strong as our leadership, Lord. A house divided against itself cannot stand, but a house together will stand. So I pray over the leadership, those in authority, those in office, I pray for wisdom upon them, Lord God, and, and most of all, for the victims, Lord, for the family members, that you would just give them peace, Lord. I know it's hard, but Father, grant them your speed, your peace, that surpasses all human understanding. Guard their hearts and minds. In Christ Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Asking all city council members, if you just come, just, just stand right here in front of the table. I'm going to ask Pastor um, Don Wallace if you please come and pray for our city council members. Again, we have one council member from McFarland here, representative. So if you would just make your way, just stand right here in front, and then we're going to pray. It's getting dark. We really need to bring this to a close. So uh, pray. Pr well, I'm not saying keep the pressure, just... Uh, but coming up here, Councilman, we'd like to recognize, first of all, our city councilman here. I'm here in Delano, uh, Councilman Brian Sorio, uh, our uh, Mayor Pro Tem, uh, Joe Lindahow, and of course, uh, you heard Councilmember uh, Joe Aguirre. And then again, Councilmember Eric Rodriguez, thank you so much for uh, being here today. Uh, we sincerely appreciate Thank you so much. The other night, we hosted a meeting here in Delano and, uh, at, the, at the police department and appreciate your city manager, Maria Lara, your mayor. And also, uh, Council Member Melendrez being here. Uh, thank you so much for participating at that meeting. So, please pray over our honorable uh, council members, if you will. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come acknowledging you as the one who is sovereign. That means that you have the last word, Lord. And we look forward to that day where uh, we all will stand before the judgment seat. And Father God, we just ask that you would continue to uh, fill our hearts and our minds with your righteousness, that we would be able to do the things that are in keeping in line with what is best for our community here in Delano. Uh, let the representatives, let the council members, let the mayor pro tem be the type of people that would always advocate for the constituents of this fine community that they may be able to share with us some of the ideas and some of the thoughts that they have about making our community better, about what we can do to turn the tide around, that we can help the victims of justice, that we can help the victims of crime, that we can help the victims, Lord, because they need you just as we need you, Lord. We just ask that you would continue to watch over us, continue to inspire us to do the right things that befit righteousness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Pastor Don Wallace, pastor of the New Allen Chapel AME Church. Council members, thank you so much for your service, and thank you so much for uh, taking my phone calls personally whenever I've uh, needed to speak to you. Uh, thank you so very much. I really do my best not to uh, bombard you with phone calls. I'm sure you hear from the community at large, but uh, thank you so much for always taking time for me personally. I, I, I value your time. At this time, we're going to have Pastor Aries uh, Quizmundo, the pastor of the uh, his vineyard uh, Christian Fellowship. Uh, pastor Aries, if you'd uh, please pray uh, for... 
um, the district attorney's office, if you would, and their staff. By the way, a council a member, I mean, excuse me, Mayor Pro Tem, Joel Lindahow, he uh, is also a deputy DA for at the district attorney. So if you please pray, because they have many cases that they deal with, and so please pray for them. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you so much for this uh, opportunity, Lord God, to gather in this place uh, uh, for unity, Lord God. And we believe, Lord God, that you are here in the midst of us. Lord, I pray, Lord God, right now, our the district attorney, Lord God, to continue, Lord God, to give uh, them a wisdom and knowledge, Lord God. We believe, Lord God, that knowledge comes from you, Lord, and anoint them, Lord God. And I pray, Father God, that everything, Lord God, that in, in their hands, Lord God, I pray, Lord God, that be with them, Father God. Lord, uh, we believe, Lord God, that someday we will receive all these requests, all this uh, uh, burden, Lord God, because it's your will, Lord God, that we will receive that justice because the God that we serve is love and just, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And we bless this city, Lord God. And we believe, Lord God, that uh, this city, you are the God and Lord of this city. Thank you, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, uh, Pastor Aries. At this time, I'm going to invite uh, Abe Bilardo, if you uh, would please uh, make your way. And uh, he's going to do a closing song before we uh, dismiss tonight. Abe Bilardo. Oh, beautiful, for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple mountains, majesty upon the fruited plain. America, my America, God shed his grace on thee. And crown my hood with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. America, my America, God shed his grace on thee. And crown my hood with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. Thank you so much, Abe. I appreciate that. Uh, he's a good singer. He used to travel in a band in the 60s and 70s, and he's also been a judge at some of the uh, UFC fights and boxing matches, and right here in Delano, homegrown, and so done professional um, Refereeing. So thank you so much, Abe, for making time to be here this evening. I just want to say thank you so much. It's already dark here, and uh, so, uh, but I appreciate others that are here today, board members. I know uh, we have uh, Arnold Morrison, who is a uh, board member on the high school, and Suzanne Belarus, who is board member on the um, elementary school. And uh, so we appreciate uh, appreciate uh, you being here. If there's other board members and I didn't recognize you, my sincerest apologies. I did not do I did not do that on purpose. Uh, but uh, I appreciate uh, you because, especially you know, one thing about Mr. Morrison, this man's supposed to be retired already, and uh, but he has a love and a passion for the kids to teach music, and uh, you know that's one of the things that we we need to capture the kids while they're still young at that level, and it's and it's uh, teachers like. Mr. Morrison, that uh, has a passion and is dedicated to reaching kids before someone else reaches them to do the wrong thing. Mr. Morrison, I want to just say thank you so much for just being so unselfish with your time and devoted to these children and dedication. And, uh, you know, Suzanne, people, if only people knew the hard work that he does behind the scenes and the hours and the hours and the hours that he spends editing. And just being a certain, not just for the kids, but just throughout the community, the events like this and other events. So uh, thank you so much. And, uh, you know, I, I pray that God would just continue to bless you uh, for your uh, unselfish giving with a corresponding return. Okay. Have a good evening, everyone. Be safe. And uh, we will see you soon. God bless you. Thank you for attending.